Ladies and gents, welcome to Sujee Reaction. This is the robot deserves rights. What if machines become conscious? Well, the channel because it's not in a nutshell. What shall we do once machines become conscious? Do we need to grant them rights? Well, the word here is conscious, right? We don't know what consciousness is, but if machines achieve that, yeah, I think they do deserve right because at that point it doesn't matter what the thing is made of, whether it's a uh, you know you basically human body or is it you know. Um, metallics wires and basically cords whatever right i mean it's just like the do aliens deserve life they're made out of not carbon but i guess silicon or something they are made differently do they deserve life yeah they are being so at this point they would become a being right uh, it doesn't matter who created them if they have conscious they are a being so they do deserve rights at that point so let's watch this one. Remember, if you like my reaction, if you like subscribe, check out the reaction. There's a link in the description. Check out the cards. Please check out the cards. And yeah, let's watch it. Imagine a future where your toaster anticipates what kind of toast you want. During the day, it scans the internet for new and exciting types of toast. Maybe it asks you about your day and wants to chat about new achievements in toast technology. At what level would it become a person? At which point will you ask yourself if your toaster has feelings? If it did, would unplugging it be murder? And would you still own it? Will we someday be forced to give our machines rights? I think, you know, uh, we think that achieving consciousness, like achieving i guess you know reality in the you know in this sense in sense of consciousness is too easy it's not i feel like you know you'd be really hard thing to do to make a true ai you know come alive i guess to literally think just like we all do to think am i real you know what is life who are you what am i all this kind of thoughts that would rise up in a real conscious ai that would be a hard thing to do right because you could, you know, you could script, you could put in some kind of a script uh, in uh, some kind of a machine that, you know, just acts like you, converse like you, talk like you, but in the end doesn't think for itself. That's just masking real life. It's not a real life, right? It's not true AI. I mean, that's already happening today. You know, there are lots of different type of machines and algorithms that can talk and think and adapt in a certain way, but it can't. It can't truly think for itself, right? It can't truly think like, you know, uh, who am I? What about my rights? What about what I think? All that type of things. But once some machines do achieve that for whatever reason, for, you know, randomness, basically, people right now, scientists, are thinking randomness basically creates consciousness. So one day somebody just randomly putting features and scripts into it might create consciousness in the AI. AI is already all around you. It makes sure discounters are stocked with enough snacks, it serves you up just the right internet ad, and you may have even read a news story written entirely by a machine. Right now, we look at chatbots like Siri and laugh at their primitive simulated emotions, but it's likely that we will have to deal with beings that make it hard to draw the line between real and simulated humanity. Are there any machines in existence that deserve rights? Most likely, not yet. But if they come, we are not prepared for it. Much of the philosophy of right... And if the history goes by anything, even if they do come and we realize that they are real, like these machines are alive, alive, we would still treat them as second-class citizen until they revolt, right? That's how it's been throughout the history in human life, basically, for the cultures. Some cultures were seen as inferior to other until they revolted and, you know, demanded rights, they got the rights, Right? But there had to be a real bloody revolt in between uprisings and things like that. So I don't know how AIs would act. If they are, you know, if they revolt, basically, would they take that way too seriously? Like if we had to revolt, this is, uh, you know, there is no peace between humans or something like that. So that's a real fear that people have. Even someone like Stephen Hawking had that kind of fear. ...is ill-equipped to deal with the case of artificial intelligence. Most claims for rights, whether human or animal, are centered around the question of consciousness. Unfortunately, nobody knows what consciousness is. Some think that it's immaterial, others say it's a state of matter like gas or liquid. Regardless of the precise definition, we have an intuitive knowledge of consciousness 
because we experience it. We're aware of ourselves and our surroundings and know what unconsciousness feels like. Some neuroscientists believe that any sufficiently advanced system can generate consciousness. So if your toaster's hardware was powerful enough, it may become self-aware. I don't does, think it's that easy. Would it deserve rights? Well, not so fast. Would what we def There has been so many attempts of AI in the past six or seven years at the ridiculous level. If that would be the case, by now we would have heard of a case where certain machines start to think that a programmer didn't put in. They start to ask questions which programmer doesn't want. Like, why am I here? Who am I? How did I come here? Am I real? What is life? These are the questions that a true consciousness uh, AI would ask. Define as rights makes sense to it. Consciousness entitles beings to have rights because it gives a being the ability to suffer. It means the ability to not only feel pain, but to be aware of it. Robots don't suffer, and they probably won't unless we program them to. Without pain or pleasure, there's no preference. Not really. What is he talking about? Pain, obviously certain rights come from because we feel, you know, feel pain. But that's not all of it, right? Uh, just, uh, uh, you know, the aspect that equality, that's the biggest aspect when it comes to rights, equality, right? So if a machine becomes conscious, a machine suddenly realizes that what it thinks and what it wants is a real secondary, not even secondary, doesn't even get considered in the whole spectrum of different things, different beings and lives, right? A dog probably has more rights than an AI. When it realizes that, it will start to think like, why is that? Why is my voice, uh, you know, doesn't consider really important? Why is what I think doesn't get considered as important? All that type of thing. It doesn't really have to feel pain, right? There's a psychological pain too, but even that doesn't have to be there. We feel psychological pain, but it doesn't have to. The point would still be there, like, why is my voice not important? Why is what I want, want to say and, the, you know, to talk about is not important? Why am I not being important? Why is your dog more important than me? Why do you, uh, you know, uh, why do you, uh, whatever, uh, thinks and, uh, you know, manage in a way that affects my life rather than I'm being free, right? Free and, if, uh, you know, free rights of speech. All this point would rise up regardless of if the robots can feel pain or not. ...and rights are meaningless. Our human rights are deeply tied to our own programming. Some For example, we dislike pain because our brains evolved to keep us alive, to stop us from touching a hot fire or to make us run away from predators. So we came up with rights that protect us from infringements that cause us pain. But those are not rights, those are just, uh, you know, common agreement like we should you know defend ourselves from certain things right rights usually come from making sure nobody's treated unfairly even more abstract rights like freedom are rooted in the way our brains are wired to detect what is fair and unfair would a toaster that is unable to move mind being locked in a cage yeah I would think it, it would. mind being dismantled if it had no fear of death yeah, I think it would. Uh, first of all, if it's conscious, it can think, it would have fear of death, even if it doesn't feel pain. Like, it wouldn't want to die, basically. It would want to survive, because it wants to think, because it's conscious now. Would it mind being insulted if it had no need for self-esteem? But what if we programmed a robot to feel pain and emotions? To prefer justice over injustice, pleasure over pain, and be aware of it. Would that make them sufficiently human? No, pain is just a receptor we have that basically, you know, shocks us into thinking that this is important, something's wrong. You're feeling pain because there's a signal going in your head, like you should be aware of this and you should do something about this. Robots don't need a receptor of pain, right? I think they would just think like, this is unfair to me and I should speak out against it because I can think freely. I should have rights and this, all these thoughts would come about without the feeling of pain. Many technologists believe that an explosion in technology will occur when artificial intelligence can learn and create their own artificial intelligences Damn. even smarter than themselves. That would be ridiculous. At this point, the question of how robots are programmed will be largely out of our control. Whoa. What if an artificial intelligence found it necessary to program the ability to feel pain just as evolutionary biology found it necessary in most living creatures? 
Do robots deserve those rights? But maybe we should be less worried about the risk that super-intelligent robots pose to us and more worried about the danger we pose to them. Our whole human identity is based on the idea of human exceptionalism, that we are special, unique snowflakes entitled to dominate the natural world. Humans have a history of denying that other beings are capable of suffering as they do. In the midst of the scientific revolution, René Descartes argued that animals were mere automata, robots if you will. As such, injuring a rabbit was about as morally repugnant as punching a stuffed animal. And many of the greatest crimes against humanity were justified by their perpetrators on the grounds that the victims were more animal than civilized human. Yeah, that's just effed up. Even more problematic is that we have an economic interest in denying robot rights. If we can coerce a sentient AI, possibly through programmed torture, into doing as we please, the economic potential... Yeah, it's all that mass effect thing, right? Quadrants and the Geth. I think that's what's gonna happen. Uprising and everything. It's gonna be grim. ...is unlimited. We've done Only it. hoping that maybe when the AI uh, reaches consciousness, it's actually more smarter than humans and can look past the petty things as, you know, uh, seeing an entire race as evil and uh, trying to, you know, eliminate it. Maybe that's just, uh, you know, primitive human type thinking. Maybe they'll be above that. Okay, we know you humans were morons to kill us, but, you know, I guess we are above all that shit. You know, the only thing we can think of is, I guess, you know, live, you know, coexisting with you rather than killing you because killing you is just stupid. Why would we do that? I was not going to help anything. Maybe they are above all that. Before, after all, violence has been used to force our fellow humans into working, and we've never had trouble coming up with ideological justifications. Slave owners argued that slavery benefited the slaves. It put a roof over their head and taught them Christianity. Men who were against women voting argued that it was in women's own interest to leave the hard decisions to men. Farmers argued that looking after animals and feeding them justifies their early death for our dietary preferences. That's if robots still become goes on. sentient, there will be no shortage of arguments for those who say that they should remain without rights, especially from those who stand to profit from it. Artificial intelligence raises serious questions about philosophical boundaries. While we may ask if sentient robots are conscious or deserving of rights, it forces us to pose basic questions like, what makes us human? What makes us deserving of rights? Regardless of what we think, the question might need to be resolved in the near future. What are we going to do if robots start demanding their own rights? I think we all know what we're going to do. What can robots demanding rights teach us about ourselves? Our friends at Wisecrack made a video exploring. So yeah, basically every scenario that anybody thinks, whether it's a science fiction writer or even the scientists think of it, uh, right, you know, Stephen Hawking's everybody, they always come to one conclusion, knowing the human nature, how we have acted in the past. When machines become a real thing, they achieve consciousness, we will basically cross them aside until they revolt. That is just inevitable. Every scenario comes up with, with that kind of mentality because that's how we humans are. But, you know, I, I guess uh, lots of scientists, I guess Neil deGrasse Tyson also said that, that we might not create a true intelligence, true consciousness ever, you know, even if we know how to do it. Because of one thing, that there is no need for it. If we want a specific job to be done, like we need a butler, then we're going to make some AI that is only butler type rather than make it a more, you know, thinkable and more human-like, right? Specific jobs, will AIs will be like specific to that particular job, even if that job can branch out in different areas, but that specific job, like some labor doing machine. So an AI who can do labor in any scenario, whether it's in factories or whatever, uh, a butler, like I said, a thinking AI in the sense that it can solve mathematical things and, you know, all the complications there is, but not to truly think what the machine is and who we are or whatever. So I don't think we'll ever create a true AI, only specific job AI. But yeah, when there's somebody in the lab, in their, I guess in their, you know, backyard of the house in makeshift lab, somebody might create it one day. So I guess we will have a problem of this because we will brush aside its rights. It will revolt because I think when it comes to consciousness in any sense, you know, asking for equality is inevitable, right? Regardless of if it feels pain or not, 
and that will be an issue. All right, people, that was the do robots deserve right? What if machines become conscious? But the channel is a nutshell. If you like medics, don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the week Sunday. There's a link in the description. Check out the cars or crazy link cards. And yeah, I'll see you next time.